You want to install Windows 11 but your PC or laptop is not supported so don't worry about that. In this video I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 11 version 24s2 on any PC or laptop. And the best part is this process is very easy. We are going to use Flyby 11 Windows 11 for all no specs no problem. So basically this is going to be use Windows server installation method. So in background what is happening like it is replacing the installation package with the Microsoft Windows 11 Pro and other ISOs. Whenever you are going to install Windows 11 it is not going to check any kind of requirement because installation package is of windows server windows server is not going to check any kind of requirement let's follow the process so currently i'm using windows 10 version 23s2 and i'm going to upgrade currently this system is not supporting windows 11 let me show you in pc health check app like no tpm and no ram supporting in flyby 11 go into release section and scroll a little bit and download this zip file after downloading extract all and run this flyby 11 click on more info run anyway you will see here beautiful interface and the first method is recommended check these two boxes and click on start this process is going to download latest windows 11 iso okay so click on continue continue and select the english united states language and select the architecture after that download the iso After downloading, you need to mount the ISO. Select this ISO which we have downloaded and now all the process is going to be done in background. Check this box and click here next. Accept it. You will see option like choose what to keep. If you don't want to lose any single file, let the first option select it. Keep file settings and apps. Now you will see this pop up ready to install. Just click on install. I hope you noticed like installing Windows Server. So not installing Windows Server. It is just installation process of Windows Server. Basically you did not see any kind of requirement check and all. All process were very smooth. Finally, we have to install Windows 11 Pro on my system. Version you can check, version 24s2. This is the latest Windows 11 version. In about section, you can also see Windows 11 Pro install and this is not Windows Server. Okay, so all things are here. No data deletion. You directly just upgrade it on your very unsupported device. Maybe in future you change your mind or maybe your system not working after installing it. You can roll back within 10 days. So use for 3 to 4 days, 5 days. If you like it, you can keep it. Or if you don't like it, just go into windows update go into recovery section in recovery you will see option like go back just follow the screen instruction you can directly go back to your windows 10 okay guys let me know your thoughts about this process